Hey guys, welcome to day one of 30 Funnels in 30 Days. Hopefully this works out. It's my first time doing a screen recording like this. Probably going to be a long time, but uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to literally start building a funnel in front of you and show you what my process is when it comes to building a funnel. So the first thing we're going to do, new funnel. We got to name it. Let's do day one funnel challenge. All right, that's not right. All right, and create. So we're going to be doing an application funnel. So once this populates, I'm going to show you the different pages here. I'm going to click on in here. All right, we're going to add a new step. This is going to be step one. I just call them, you know, very basically. Uh, and this is going to be opt-in. Path, we don't need that. We're not importing anything. Boom. Then after that, we're going to have our step two, which is going to be our full application. We're going to create that funnel step. And then we're going to make a thank you. Boom. So I sometimes like to work backwards. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start with our thank you page. I'm going to open it up in a new tab here. And so the reason I like to work backwards sometimes, I always want to know where the person's going. And for me, conceptually, it makes sense to start backwards, right? People are going to end at the thank you page. So where do I want them to go from the thank you page? And then where do I want them to go from the full application page? Well, to the thank you page. That's already done. Cool. Great. Then I just start working on the sales page in the front end, and I can bring them to the full application page. So what I'm thinking here for the, the thank you page is I'm just going to send them to some YouTube videos. All right, so we're going to give them homework and say, hey, go to this page and watch these videos. So what we're going to need is a heading up here up at the top, and then we're going to do another wide one, and we're going to do a medium. So this one is going to have one column. This one's going to have two columns. This one's going to have one column. And so what I'm going to do here, we're going to put a button. Sometimes I like to work backwards. Faster, we're going to use a theme here. Whoa. And what are we going to say? What's our button going to say? Watch our newest video. Great. Beautiful. Right? Super simple. Here we could even have a image with the thumbnail. And then I might want to have a headline, subheadline, some uh, paragraph here. And we could probably do, where is it? Something like, whoa. Hmm. Something like this, although that's big. So we're actually going to make it smaller. And that could just be, you know, our favorite social or something like that. We, we do like to have one place to send everybody to. And so that could be just a logo, something like that. But this is kind of our framework here. So our image might be a big smile and a thank you. This is fantastic. Uh, and then we might have, thank you for your application. Here are your next steps. So depending on what you did will determine uh, what your next steps are. And I don't like that, so we're going to get rid of that. And instead, I'm going to put a bulleted list. Boom. So your next steps, and we're going to make this number one. Take a deep breath. Help is on the way. All right? They're, we're trying to solve a problem with our service. So. It should be good to remind them, hey, take a deep breath. I'm going to help you out. It just might take a couple days for me to get back to you. Check your inbox. All right, check your inbox for your application submission. Just to make sure that we got it, they should be getting an email that says we got it. If they didn't get that email, they should reach back out to us. And then third, 
start learning with our free YouTube playlist. And this could be the thumbnail for the playlist. This button could take them right there too, right? And I think what I'm actually going to do is uh, bring this one whoop, up here because I don't need it down there. And we could just get rid of this. Okay, super simple page. And then our, our headline might just say, application was submitted. Super simple. So this is how fast I'll start breaking down uh, a thing here, right? So then let's go to our full application. This is that second step. Again, I work my way backwards. So this is our application page. This is where we're going to have everybody fill out all the information we need in order to make an informed decision on whether this person should be in our program. Uh, if you're doing a board and train program, if you're doing a class program, if you're doing private sessions, something like that, you need to find out, does this person problem fit into what I need to help them with? So we're going to do a big one up here. We're going to do another one. And so this one's going to have our header. This one is going to be broken into two columns here. And that's super simple here. So we're going to do a headline. We're going to do a subheadline, small paragraph. And then we're going to put our form in. Okay, we don't have any forms built yet, so we'll just leave that the way they are. And over here, we're going to have an image, and then we're going to have a letter to our applicant. Paragraph. And then maybe we'll have a testimonial down here at the bottom. Put some reviews, okay? And that's, that's pretty much it. That's all you need on this application page. It doesn't need to be crazy. And so your headline might be... Right? Boom. Fill out the form below. Right? Fill out the form below. We'll get back to you with your next steps. And so what this is saying is, hey, this is just the first part. And you could write more in here. We don't need to. We can just fill out the form, name, email, that kind of thing. And what I want to do is put this up towards the top. So I'm going to do that. And then our image could be very, very basic. But then we would say a letter to the applicant or a letter to you. And in here, you might say something like, this program is for XYZ. If you are not XYZ, this program is not for you. Right? So you're clearly stating who this is for and who should be filling it out. That's one way to do it. You could also target this as, this is why I am doing this. Right? You could do it as this is my mission, passion, the best thing since sliced bread. Right, Anything in here that conveys and gives somebody a little bit more reassurance as they're filling it out. That's the point of this section on the left here. Someone's filling out the application, they get halfway through and they say, ah, I don't really like it. Like, Why am I doing this? Is this really going to work? And they look over to the left and they read this letter that says, hey, this is why I'm doing this. This is what we can do for you. Here's some testimonials. You could just tell a big success story, whether it's your story or somebody else's story. What you're trying to do here is convey a message if they get lost during the middle of the application. All right, so now let's go to that first page. Now, this first page is so unique depending on what you're doing. But there are some key things in here where there's really three questions we need to answer. Who you are what you do, and how they can work with you. Who you are, what the what you do, and how they can work with you. So if you're really comfortable on camera, you should do a video. 
most people aren't going to watch the video, right? A lot of people will, but some people might not. So let's let's do a video uh, format here. So this is going to have our headline and how to solve your problem without ooh, that painful thing. Right? If, if you can break down your business into that, how to solve your problem without that painful thing, then uh, you, you're in it, okay? How to solve your dog walking without getting dragged down the street. How to solve your dog's reactivity without being embarrassed in front of your neighbors, whatever it may be. If you can solve that, you're golden. So we have this title, and we could make this bigger, right? So it really stands out. Then there's a video. The video just explains who you are, what you do, how they can work with you. Who you are, what you do, how they can work with you. And so then we put our button down here. And our button says, hey, work with me. Okay, we'll use a, a theme here just to make it easier. Apply now for training. Boom. Right now, here's the best part. You have some options here. Personally, I like to put some testimonials right here. So I'm going to put a review here. And I'm going to put a review right here. This is called a testimonial rush. You could put this on for days. So you just go like that, copy it, boom, copy it, copy it, copy it. And you could just have a plethora of testimonials from happy clients. That's going to boost your authority and who you are, what you've accomplished, and how they can work with you. Clearly, whatever these people did, they applied for training, is what that person needs to do who's reading this page. You can also come down here and start answering the questions. So you can make a column. Right? And you have a headline, and it says, who am I? That's it, right? Boom, done. <laughs> and then you come over here, and you put a photo of your face, right? your beautiful face, shining and smiling and crystal clear so it looks professional. And then you say, I'm a trainer, coach, and loving father, right? whatever it is. And you don't just write whatever about yourself. You write things that are prevalent to what the person's dealing with, right? They might be dealing with dog training, trying to fix their marriage because the dog is getting in the way, and they are afraid of their kids getting hurt. I would be the perfect person to help them because I'm a trainer, I'm a coach, I have a relationship that does well. Right, and so I can explain what me and my partner do and what I do to make sure my son's safe. Boom, I would be the perfect person for them because I'm relating to them in that scenario. And then you go into your next category. We could just uh, copy this one. Right, and I'll bring it down here. And then I say, what I do. And then you would show the process. So I always like to show the process in a giant photo. So you, you'd custom make a graphic that shows uh, what that process is, and that would take up the whole page. And you'd say, this is step one, this is step two, step three, step four. You could also do it uh, as a feature here, I'll show you. So, like that. So I'd have my image here on the left, and then the title of what that step is, step one, step two, and then a little description of it, and then we'd go forward. And then, how do I work with you? Always again, right? We have to have some place for them to go and figure out more about the process. And so we'd, we'd use the same theme we used earlier, which was this one. And we'd say, apply for training. This is very rudimentary, but this is the basics of what I do when I'm building out a funnel here. Now, here's the beauty of it. When they click on this button, I want a pop-up to show up. And that is going to have them, number one, reiterate what the problem is. So they see it again in case they were at the bottom of the page and they forgot what was on the page, right? Maybe my messaging isn't uh, so clear. And then we would put a form. And the form would have their name and their email. We don't have any forms built, but it would have their name and their email. That way, when they click on that and it takes them to the next page to fill out the rest of the form, not only do I have their name and email so I can market them again, but it's already partially filled out. When someone looks at a form, and it's partially filled out, psychologically, they just finish it. Some people get to that second page and they go, ah, it's too, like that's way too long, I'm not doing it. But if it's partially filled out, 
My name and email is already done. I just got to do the rest of the stuff. Let me just do it. Okay. Now, uh, as this loads, it's just taking us to that second page uh, where that form is. But I hope you guys are grasping the concept of how powerful a funnel is. Yes, this is very rudimentary, but that first page needs to explain who you are, what you do, and how they can work with you. The second page qualifies them from a potential lead, a prospect, into a qualified customer right? that you can do a consultation with. And then that third page says, hey, here are the next steps. I'm going to email you, and so we can set up a time. Or maybe you send them to a calendar, or maybe you send them uh, just an email that says, hey, let me know the best times. Or maybe it just shows up a phone number and says, hey, you've been approved. Give me a call right now. You can jump in line. Otherwise, I'll call you tomorrow. Whatever it is, you need to have this like so solid and down pat. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I'm going to start building out 30 of these every day, not just this rudimentary, but actual application funnels. If you want to see those, let me know. Uh, comment down below what you want to see. Maybe I can redo your website for you 100% free. I'm doing 30 of these. So I do need uh, a lot of people who are interested in them. And I still have some spots open. So if you're interested in that, put it down in the comments. I can completely redo your site for you uh, as part of this challenge. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.